Hey guys, it's Adam from Beautiful Life Hypnotherapy. I hope you're all well. Um, I wanted to make this video because I get asked this question an awful lot. And the question is, can hypnotherapy help with anxiety? Well, the great news is, yes, hypnotherapy can help with anxiety. But how exactly does it help? Well, what I tend to do is give my clients new ways of thinking. So new strategies and new ways of dealing with negative thoughts. So once you've got these strategies and start to learn how to implement them in your everyday life, what you'll find is you'll become more relaxed and you'll be able to get your life back to normal again. So what will happen, you'll start to naturally feel more confident and have more self-esteem also. Using these strategies and hypnosis in conjunction will be a powerful way for you to start to think in a different way. So basically start to think what's useful and what's not. You will start to see things from a different perspective. Anxiety generally is about anticipation. So if you can start to identify the thoughts you have, the triggers, which I will help you do, that's part of my job really. I start to uncover the strategies which you may use, which you are unaware of, to get anxiety. Because anxiety is actually a process. So if I can help you uncover that process by pointing out maybe some trigger phrases you have, or situations, or the way you think about certain things, then what we can do, they no longer will lie in your non-conscious mind. They'll become a conscious thing, so you'll be aware of them. Now, once something becomes a conscious thing, and you become aware of it, it's much easier to deal with. The process of anxiety works like this. We have a trigger. So it might be an event, it might just be the way you're thinking. Then what happens, the brain goes into the cognition phase. So imagine your brain like a filing cabinet, and in that filing cabinet there are certain files. And it will have a file there saying, how did you cope with X, Y or Z last time? Or it could be a future event. So it will pick up this file go, yes, got anxious, felt not very good, okay. So that's the information the brain's got. It's essentially a reference. So it puts that reference back, which is full of negative things normally, closes the filing cabinet, creates the emotion and then feeling of anxiety. So interestingly, the feeling of anxiety is the last part of the process. I hope this makes sense. And if you have any questions, just ask. If you would like to uh, have a further chat, uh, I hold free consultations, so you can get in touch with me on my website or give me the office a ring. I'll leave the details at the end of the video. Or if you'd like a full appointment, just let me know and give me a shout. This is Adam from Beautiful Life in the Therapy.